Okay, today we are at the Tulslang Genocide Museum. Um, it's also known as S21. And this is basically the central prison where the Khmer Rouge kept about 20,000 um, victims. And they used it as a torture chamber and also killed several of their victims here. Um, it was discovered by the Vietnamese when they uh, liberated Cambodia and deposed the Khmer Rouge. And today we did a tour of several different buildings in the complex. Once I went around the S21 alone uh, by ourselves, right? We have few minutes to be on our own. Look at those pictures. I was, I was almost crying. Uh, I didn't, I didn't. I couldn't explain how how some people can uh, can do that to cut up your brothers, right? Because it's another human beings. Um, so that was very upsetting. And I think this would be an experience that really all young people in Cambodia should go through. Justice will not be had for the victims. Um, this court, which has already spent $200 million after six years of operation, now will only be trying three senior Khmer Rouge leaders for the lives of two million Cambodians who were murdered, who were lost to the regime. That is not enough. Um, so I'm very, very much a critic of this court now. Before, I was both a critic and a supporter of the Khmer Rouge Tribunal, but now um, the benefits ha are being threatened by the political theater that is this Khmer Rouge Tribunal. Speaking with Terry tonight, it was really um, enlightening to hear her say that um, she isn't apologetic for feeling angry, that it, she uses that as a motivating factor in what she does every day. Um, there really is no one way to react to events like what we've seen today. I often feel guilty that I don't have a more emotional reaction when I visit places that have experienced crimes like genocide, but um, you know, the situation doesn't always sink in right away. It takes some time for us to understand the gravity of what we've seen. And even in a witnessing capacity like today, it's just important to understand that there is no one way to approach a situation, no one way to feel. And uh, what Thierry said tonight really helped me to understand that. I have no uh, doubt that, and that you will leave a very good impression your group will.